Hello everyone and welcome back to the Last of Us Grounded playthrough. We're about to enter the E3 demo section, I believe. This is what they used to showcase the game. We've had a pretty tricky time recently. Pittsburgh is a very combat heavy section, but we are back. And this hotel could be interesting. We've got lots of routes to get around enemies, but so do they to us. I have found quite a few supplies recently. I found two bullets for the, <laughs> the revolver. That's about it. But uh, I'm very worried because I know that for a fact there's the famous basement section coming. And that's going to be uh, pretty tricky. And pretty scary. It's definitely one of the scary moments in the game. Uh, the bow is probably going to come in some use here for some stealth combat. I seem to remember there being guys that come through the courtyard, but I might be wrong. And I don't know, I feel like I need to be doing a much better job of resource management, so I'm going to try and be as careful and stealthy as I can here. Because I just feel like my ammo is so low. But that might be the way it's meant to be. Look, buddy, don't, don't do anything stupid now. I'm annoyed because I've also missed a shiv doll. Well, I've not missed it, but I don't have a shiv to, uh, to use. And I'm, I'm actually really good. <laughs> Because apparently it's the one with a red X on the door. And apparently, I had a quick look online. It's a really useful room, but I just don't have the uh, the resources, so can't blame anyone but myself for that. Again, I feel like this is an area with a bunch of enemies, so getting spotted or avoiding getting spotted is really imperative. Oh, they're both full. Very nice. This feels like a risky move, but. I've got to try and find out what ways to go. I can't know if you've got to do quite a few flaws of this or what. I said, I just remember it being used for E3. Take it easy. I mean, you should watch that E3 demo if you never have. It was uh, the game looked a lot more dynamic than it actually probably was. I think it was running on specs, so like high-end PC. Oh, so it did turn out to be kind of bollocks, but unfortunately, that's true of most E3 demos, isn't it? I can't necessarily remember how true that is, but I remember it being uh, some people being disappointed because the demo looked way more dynamic. And they also had the moment where Joel absolutely obliterated the guy's face with a shotgun. And it's just interesting because the UI was quite different as well. You had a health bar in the top left. Which I'd argue is more stereotypical. thing with this hotel there's plenty of places to hide but it's not the best cover is it either the problem is I don't really know the way to go off the top of my head either I see SJ so I feel like SJ is the way to follow that seems like good environmental storytelling but and that's not environmental storytelling that's Direction, isn't it? Ah, enemy there. Look, man. For God's out. sake, how does that get me spotted? That's fine. Because I'm not dealing with infected, I don't mind using weapons at the minute. There we go. Oh, fuck. There's plenty of bricks around here. Fuck these guys. I say, we have been spotted, but uh, I'm okay at the minute. Have I been in these rooms? It's hard to tell. <laughs> oh, shit. Good job, you can't see Ellie. <laughs> I'll check out this area. You guys, go check over that way. Yeah, it's alerted a bunch of people. What? Well, you explain that to me, guys, right? 
I did, it, it like let me grab him and then changed its mind. Get his face bashed in. Some blade, very nice. I need blade. And another brick. As I say, I'm not sure where I have and haven't been. I started out here, didn't I? So that's fine. I've got my bearings back then. <laughs> Can't quite remember which is the way to go. But Last of Us is very good at giving you do uh, giving you direction through the environment. There's uh, no need to have one button that just tells you which way to go. Was it uh, Bioshock Infinite? That come out the same year, didn't it? And that had that very handy. One of the buttons on the D-pad, it just showed you which way to go, which it's all different games and it works for certain games. And for, to be fair, it worked for Bioshock. Quite a lot of potential frustration. I do actually like that kind of button in games because it's so easy to miss stuff. You know, you accidentally press the wrong button sometimes in The Last of Us and it'll force you into an area when you're like, oh, I didn't really want to leave just yet. Because <laughs> I know this game now, that's not too much of an issue for me, but it certainly was first time through and like the second time. I think we've cleared this floor. So that's good. Took a bullet, didn't I, for what it's worth, but... I've still got plenty of stuff to craft. You know, the, the Molotovs and the medkits haven't really been an issue all playthrough. I need to get a shiv built as soon as possible, potentially. The annoying thing is I think I can get a lot out of the shiv, but I can't see my shiv bar, so I'm not going to use it to kill enemies because I think I can get away with stabbing them twice now. Yeah, this is all the same checkpoint, isn't it? This is a hell of a lot harder, this section, isn't it, off memory? And they might be on alert now. Because of downstairs, I'm not entirely sure. I say, I must remember I've got the bow, and the bow is very good. As a stealth weapon anyway. I don't think that guy's committing all the way, is he? No. That's good. If he comes back, we can get him then. Yeah, he's definitely on some kind of alert. I shall take a sip of water to compose myself. By a sip, I mean a massive gulp. And uh, we shall be patient and wait a moment for him to come back. <laughs> Which hopefully he does. Yeah, he looks like he's coming out. Right, let's grab this guy. <laughs> Nicely done, Joel. Let's, let's be cool. <laughs> yep, there's not going to be any being cool. Man, you compare it to Last of Us where shooting people is almost comedic. In fact, it kind of is half the time and it's all jovial. And in this game, you, you've got a guy by the neck and he's like, please, man, please don't kill me. <laughs> and he's like, please be cool. And you're just there slowly, you know, removing the air from his lungs permanently. Brutal, man. Yeah, remember this kind of area? Yeah, so many enemies, man. The hard way. They're on their way. At least I feel like they're on their way. This might be because they're on a, a heightened sense of alert. The good thing is I know if they don't come in here... Oh, they do. Shit. <laughs> what you got? Shit. 
You're gonna have to go, mate. Sorry. No, no, no! Joel, get the brick out and fight back. I shouldn't have put my gun away so quick. Damn it. Right, try that again. Oh, get down, get down. Right, I've managed to make it here this time without being seen, but I've also ignored two of the guys, which I think is probably the more sensible move. Um, I feel like if I get spotted up here, though, they're still going to be... They could run run up and get me. So there is a double-edged sword here. That was very lucky. That was very lucky indeed. But yeah, the guard patterns are a little bit different because I've not been spotted this time. But they shouldn't be on such a heightened alert. So the advantage... I should have an advantage. That I didn't have last time. See, we've got this guy here, but we know what route he's going to sort of take. And to say, them two guys might not come all the way in here this time. Due to that fact. As we'll just uh, sit here and camp out and see what happens. <laughs> but uh, Last of Us Season 2 is going to be sure interesting, you know, with the TV show, because, yeah, Last of Us 1 was critically acclaimed, and so was Last of Us 2, but by the fan base, it's a much more heavily divided reaction. So it's going to be interesting them seeing them trying to adapt to that, because they had a really golden blueprint to use for the TV show, um, which they did change at times, and... I have to say, whenever the TV show just copies lines from the original game, it, it's missing a lot of the warmth in the delivery of those lines. Which is a shame because you've got some really good actors. Uh oh. Yeah, I hear it too. So the enemies are there this time. I've been waiting for that guy to come back, but it doesn't like it look like he is. But yeah, so you've got Pedro Pascal, who's very much flavour of the month in Hollywood at the uh, moment in time. And, you know, even when he's delivering some of these lines, they're just nowhere near the warmth of Troy Baker. And because of the skill I've seen Pedro Pascal use and act with, I have to assume it's a direction thing. Because we know the writing's good. It's, uh, I don't know him. It's the way they've written the character. The character is very different. I'm also not a fan of how gun-centric the show is so far, particularly when you watch me play and I'm using a lot of my fists, but the brutality of the, uh, you know, the hand-to-hand -hand combat is really kind of missing from the show, apart from one moment where he beats up the guard, but they have a really obvious throwback to Sarah's death, and I really liked that the game didn't do that. It showed that Joel has moved on from 20 years on. Not moved on, but he's a different man. That Joel we saw there died when Sarah died. So, kind of... Not a massively fan of him, like showing some PTSD of that moment. What was that? that, my friend, is your death. <laughs> Nothing worse than a game when the guy clearly has a shotgun that's probably got loads of shells in it, but you're not allowed to take it because of arbitrary video game stuff. <laughs> uh, those are the rules of video games, I'm afraid. We all subscribe to them. Some health there, isn't there yet? I don't know what my health bar looks like at any moment in time, really. All I know is my screen is not red. Shit. He's going to find a body. He didn't find it. Wow. Everything's cool, man. That body is still there. I feel like I say, if I think if I do this, it delays his, his struggle a bit. I might be wrong about that, but it seems to work for me. Shit. Shit. Ellie, throw a brick at him, please. Ellie, do something. Oh, fuck's sake. 
That should have killed him immediately. Oh, piss off. I'm not sure you're better off not getting spotted, to be honest with you. Shit. No, no. Jeez. Right, got this guy down. I'm going to actually backtrack and get some of the explosives. Or do I carry on here? No, let's carry on here. And if it goes wrong, then so be it. Jesus, I know they got it wrong straight away. The problem is, is they just come from everywhere, man. Just be cool, man. Take it easy, all right? Like, I don't know what the sensible play is, to be honest. Like, I feel like three guys will just come in here from different directions all at once and just shaft me a bit. But I've just got to press on and hope for the best. Not getting spotted is obviously key. I say, I'm having to take some pretty big leaps of faith moments like that. But I haven't got much choice. <laughs> this guy made my life easy though, coming in here. I just, I think when you get spotted, you spawn a hell of a lot more enemies in. Because it all seems pretty manageable until then. There is still an area that I want to backtrack to downstairs and get. I think it's some of the explosive uh, material. I can't believe there's still toilet paper there. you think that would be the first thing to get nicked. Covid sure does that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's what I mean, man. There's just people everywhere. Like, if I hadn't timed that, and timing it as if I did it on purpose, then... I'd have been caught out massively. Man, I'm on real edge. Yeah, last few combat areas have been really tough. Definitely feeling the grounded mode now. Exit, that's got to be good, right? I mean, what is it? It's the explosive compa compound, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, for what it's worth, I am not. I don't think I'm going to go back for it. I'd rather just get through this. Hey, it looks like there's a ladder inside this elevator. Hold up, let me try to open it. Okay, well, we found the way out. <sighs> Maybe it is worth going back. Yeah, Joel's still going at speed, so it's still on a still on a stealth moment, but we know the way out. 
could be taking a massive unnecessary risk here. Or I could be getting vital supplies, it's hard to know. Oh man, I don't know where I am anymore. Jesus, that's what I mean, another enemy. I didn't think I'd been here. Look. Oh, is that it? Well, Joel took him down pretty brutally, so that's probably it. But he is still running, so there must be some kind of enemy about. Might be on the floor below us. But yeah, that was definitely worth doing. And blades are good. I'm glad I found that, actually. Very close to making a shiv. Awesome. Pills. Oh, yeah, this was definitely worth coming back. Creepy. Man, look at this. Ten gears. Can I go back down there, then? As I say, I know that there's enemies still about, so I'm very weary. Oh, I know that. Yes, this is where I wanted to be. Shit. Could I have climbed up here all along? Oh, I'm hella blind. This is exactly where I wanted to come back to and backtrack. Just for that. Brilliant. Right. Let's get back up there and the hell out of here. For goodness sake, man, how did I not see that? I feel like such a doofus now. It wouldn't have made it that much easier, but still. It would have made a difference. Oh well, all's a well that ends well. Now I need to find my way back out. Without getting spotted. It's this way, right? I'm still staying crouched because I'm still very weary. Um, it's wherever there's an exit sign. Yeah, there. Yeah, I cleared that room, didn't I? Oh, no, this is the way I came. Oh, no. I want no, no part of this. I said, the fact Joel's going at full speed slows me a little worried. But I'll take my chances. Right, let us uh, get this elevator, uh, this ladder then. This is where everyone's least favourite part of the game is. Yeah, that won't alert anybody, Joel. I'm sure that'll be fine. Let's see where this goes. Oh, is it not that? Is it not time fit. for the basement yet? Just in case. Man, you are not a stealth operative, Joel, are you? <laughs> you find me something to climb on. Here we go. Okay, maybe this is the basement moment. Yeah, it is. God damn it, I hate this bit. <laughs> Joel! I'm alright! Are you okay? No! You scared the shit out of me! Oh, hell. Oh man, I've just got to get through this dumbass it. section, and then we're good. Oh, right. Where to now? 
So we're going to encounter Infected again, aren't we, unfortunately? For better or worse. Was that Blade? Oh, I can't get the backpack out because uh, we're underwater. Makes sense. Uh, make sure I don't miss anything major. Man, it's always basements and sewers. <laughs> Man, it's all falling apart. Yeah, I'm going to say I thought you had to go underwater. I assume you can't. Do I ever remember drowning in this game? I think you'd have to be pretty unlucky for that. Man, there is stuff all over the shop, isn't there? Gotta go that way, obviously. It's just the fact it's dark, isn't it? That's spooky enough. Still can't access the backpack. Yeah, you got to get under this, I remember. And then I think we're into uh, gameplay again. I say, get through this, and we can breathe a little easier. Because the game as a whole, I think, gets a little bit easier, or eases off for a little bit. Not massively, but this is certainly one of the scarier moments. Whoa, Joel is struggling to breathe. Right, here we are, out in the wild. We can create a shiv, which is awesome. And look how many pills we've got. We can almost get our max health up again, which I might do, because grounded is obviously pretty brutal. But I also don't know if it's really worth it, because that health is so low. Is it worth not grading that? But They're just accepting if I get spotted or caught, I'm dead. Yeah, I always dread this shit. Dread this part of the game. Not because it's bad, it's just scary. And those rats, man, imagine seeing that in real life. That'd be me done, man. Right, like everyone, I've, I've had the misfortune of seeing a few rats in my life, and it's just, oh, God. No, not for me. But Last of Us has excellent pacing, and I think it knows after this moment, so I'll just let you breathe a little bit. Because it does... Oh, man. Ugh. Is this the first appearance of these in-between people? Yeah, that's the generator. I d does it not work yet, though? I feel like you couldn't do it straight away, but I might be totally wrong about that. I thought you had to get something, because I thought that's what makes this so creepy, is it's quite a hunt. Well, yeah, we're only going back a minute if I get it wrong, so let's try it. Man, so much for these bandits checking this whole place. Oh! Uh, oh my god! <laughs> I thought you couldn't do it yet. Oh my god. I thought you couldn't activate it yet. I thought that was later on. Oh no, dead end. Joel, you stuck. Why have you got stuck? Yeah, I've forgotten the name of these enemies. They're halfway between being clicker and runner. They're an utter nightmare to deal with. Oh, that's seen. Right, don't hit the generator. Oh, man. Yeah, anything I need to get, I need to get immediately. Because you're not going to have a chance to come back here. Oh, shit. 
God damn it, man. That actually scared the living daylights out of me. Well, you heard it. Last time I got a jump scare like that was on Evil Within, wasn't it? I got a big one there. But these clicker enemies are such a night. These like halfway clicker enemies are effing nightmare. They don't quite play by the same rules. Oh, is this some BS where they don't show up until you hit the generator? I think it is, you know. Man, what the fuck? Yeah, you need a key card. God damn it. Yeah, this is like a false combat moment, isn't it? With that music. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. I don't like him. I do not like him. I do not like them one bit. Come on, then. Bring it. Come on, bring it, then. Bring the fire. I fucking dare you. No. I don't dare you that much. Come on. Come on, then. Come and bring it. Ah! Have that. Oh, shit! Right, key card. I need a key card. Oh, fuck. Do not know where key card is. See, I feel like I just need to kill these enemies. Then I can get out of here. Key card. Fuck these enemies. I want to be aggressive, but they're kind of cowardly. Oh, you guys, you, oh, you guys saw that, didn't you? Move, move, move. Where is he? He's hiding away. Get ready with that R2 button. Oh, they're very near. Come on, then. You coward. I have a key card. I'm not afraid to use it. Oh, Jesus. Shit. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. Oh, you... All this frustration. God damn it. I know where the key card is. That's the thing, I just want to kill these guys. <laughs> oh shit. Uh. 
But it's easier said than done. It's the thing, as soon as you hit an, hit an objective, they do know where you are, so... I should be able to use that to my advantage. I just want to take these guys out. But I don't think you can run into them until you pick up something, can you? Yeah, like, they're on a scripted thing, aren't they? Like, I'd love to go and meet them head on. Oh, no, hang on. I might have got some action. I'm going to try and be brave to a degree. Come on. Yes, that's what I want to see. Come on. Bring it. Don't go in the boiler room. I've got a bad angle there. That's more like it. Thank you. He's not going to bring it. I know more enemies will come, but I think if I can clear these, I give myself some breathing room. Come on. Whoa, you are a cunt. Go on, let's just have it, love. What? God damn it. It's got to be a brick of some kind, doesn't it? Not that that's going to make any difference. I'm not going to use the hunting rifle here, am I? But... Bloody rats. Might as well get what we can. The problem is you, just, you can't go around skipping this section, you know, you've... There's nothing quick about it. I could just hit the generator, get the card and go, and that might ultimately be my end game, but... For now, I really want to try and do this without taking too much damage or using many resources. I feel like this is a resource moment, though, where the game is like, use your stuff. But I kind of don't want to play that game just yet. I could get the key card. That does make them come out. I just don't like my angle here. There's not a lot of bricks here, is there? There's one bottle. I only need a, a melee weapon, and I'm fine. How many shotgun shells do I have? Three. I probably shouldn't be so stingy then. I should probably be willing to use one until I find a brick. There's a spare bottle there. Yeah, get the key card. Now I can get rid of this one. Brick. You see, I've got the advantage in this position. Yeah. You're just going to get it, mate. Sorry. Oh, die, you cunt. Go on. Go on. I felt like there was four. But I could have been wrong. Let's get that ball. We've got the key card, right? So we're in a good spot. And we've killed four of them. Well, let's keep our wits on us. Brick will be good. See, if I get accosted here, then I know there's an issue. Kind of want to give myself that maximum health, but no, I mustn't succumb to temptation. Right. God damn it. Well, there's nothing for it. 
every instinct in me is telling me as soon as I hit that generator, an enemy will come for me. So let's have our wits. We look good here. Right. Now we got to fucking go. Yeah. Floater coming. Helen coming. Go, go, go. Mr. Bloater, do not get grabbed. Hit the card, hit the card. No. Joel, you dumb fuck. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go. So much for that. We gotta find Ellie. <sighs> Breathe. I am box breathing. I'm doing that US Navy SEALs breathing style right now. <sighs> Why does he grab the door, man? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, I needed that, guys. Man, that was massive. Whew. I think I'm gonna leave the part here. And I'm going away for a few days, so this feels like a good place to leave it. As I say, the game's got excellent pacing and it's going to let me breathe for a few minutes and uh, Lord knows I need it. Oh, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.